Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and my sister asked me if I could do a video explaining cryptocurrencies and blockchain to some of her students. She is a teacher of fourth grade, so I'm going to try to explain cryptocurrencies and blockchain as easy as possible to understand within 10 minutes. Let's go. So, cryptocurrencies. First, to understand what a cryptocurrency is, let's just break the name down. Crypto is synonymous with digital currency, of course, is what most people think as the U.S. dollar here in America. So your house, your condo, your apartment, whatever you live in, that has value. The U.S. dollar, however, is not money technically because those pieces of paper or the digital numbers that get put into your bank account do not have any value. If you were to take the whole idea of currency away, you would just be holding pieces of paper in your hand. So those pieces of paper or the digital numbers in your bank account represent value. They don't have value, they represent value. But the value that the US dollar represents is the value of the United States. Let's take a closer look into monetary or money value versus currency and what they actually are in the definition term. So monetary value is when you own an item that has value. Example, Beth brought her favorite toy to school and Bonnie brought her favorite book. They both have something that is worth money, monetary value, even though they are different. If Beth wants Bonnie's book and Bonnie is willing to trade for it or sell it, then she could trade maybe her favorite toy to get Bonnie's book. So that would be a buy and sell, which is a transaction. Now, that gets kind of difficult when you're talking about the whole United States and a whole bunch of different people. But we need currency. We need those U.S. dollars or some type of form of currency to be able to make transactions a lot easier, buying and selling. If you went into the store and there was a candy bar and the price tag was $1.99, that's what you're used to seeing, and that's because it is marked in the price of U.S. dollar currency. If we did not use U.S. dollar currency and we had no system of currency, then the price might say three chicken eggs or five gummy bears. Well, if you got three chicken eggs or five gummy bears that you can trade for the one chocolate bar, you know, there's so many different variations, different things that could happen, and it's just too confusing. It sounds confusing as I'm saying it. So that's, that's what currency is for, moving value from here to over here. So now that we know what currency is and we know what value is, the difference between money and currency we can now understand that these digital cryptocurrencies are used to make transactions within their digital world. So to understand that, we've got to go just a little bit deeper. But don't worry, we're almost there. So blockchain is the value behind the cryptocurrencies. It's not the cryptocurrencies themselves, just like the U.S. dollar, that actually have value. It's what they represent. And these cryptocurrencies represent and have uses within a blockchain. So what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a network of computers around the world working together to transfer data. The term block in blockchain refers to a block of data. So when I'm talking about data, that could be anything. Think of each of these blocks like a little Lego block. And that little Lego block has some data in it. For example, let's say that data block has your favorite food and your crush that you have right now. It has that information in that block of data in that Lego. So it starts out with the first 
block of data, and then when a new block of data comes in when there's more transactions, or in this case, say you decided you wanted to put in your shopping list for Christmas in the second block of data. Well, the second block of data will attach to the first block of data, that original block, and they will communicate with each other. That's where the network of the computers all around the world working together, they're all talking to each other to move this data around. So when those two blocks start talking to each other, those two Legos they're trying to attach, when it sees your crush's name in the new block and it matches to the old previous block, then they will connect like Legos. Say you're making a Lego snake. That attachment of the new block to the old block is the chain. So that's how the blocks chain together. As new information is added, it is verified by the previous blocks. So because it's just as simple as Legos attaching to each other, that means that the old ways that we move data and held it in these giant computers and all of that. Now that data can be moved around the world within seconds, stored in the internet cloud in the blockchain so it's not on those big computers. And because it's so simple, it costs way less money to transfer that data. So now that we understand what blockchain is, and why cryptocurrencies have value is the value from the blockchain. What can the cryptocurrencies do? Well, in a lot of blockchains, those networks of computers that are working together are using their energy and resources to secure all of that data being transferred. So the cryptocurrency can be used within that network to pay those computers that are working together, pay them individually, whoever the person is, of course, behind the computer, for helping move all this data and securing all this data. And those people with those computers are called validators. The technical term for those computers that are working together are called nodes. So when you hear the term node validator that is just a person with a computer in the network and they are making sure that all the blocks that come through match all the previous blocks so the network stays secure they have to be paid for their help in keeping these blockchains running and that's where you'll see these node validators being paid in cryptocurrency and that's only one use case of how the cryptocurrency can flow within a ecosystem of a blockchain. Now, cryptocurrencies have another purpose, which is their original beginning purpose when a new blockchain is created, and that's to raise more money so the blockchain can be developed. It takes some time and some money to create the computer language that the computers in the network will be speaking. So in order to raise that money, the blockchain will release its cryptocurrency to the public to buy and sell and invest in just like a company in the stock market does with its shares. People think that a certain cryptocurrency is going to go up in price because of that blockchain technology behind it is getting better and better. Then people will have the option to buy it and as the price goes up, the blockchain developers will be able to sell some of the cryptocurrency that they minted when they created the blockchain to raise money to continue to build out the chain. So there's many uses of cryptocurrencies in the ecosystem. It's not just as simple as a currency as the US dollar. But hopefully this video helps you understand blockchain and cryptocurrencies a little bit better, brought a little bit more clarity, and made it not quite as scary. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.